All right, welcome back to Podcast Like a Pro. Today we're going to be going through how to submit your podcast feed to iTunes. Uh, and so the, we remember from both the Libsyn setup and the Seriously Simple Podcasting setup modules that we have that podcast feed URL that each of those services creates, which has the metadata about our show as a whole, like the title and the image and the description and the categories that it's in in iTunes, as well as the details about each episode individually. So places like iTunes read your podcast feed and then reflect both the, the metadata about the show as a whole, as well as each time an episode is updated, it reflects the newest information about where the media file is located, what the title of the episode is, when it was published, what the description is, and things like that. And so when we say we're going to publish our episode to iTunes, what we really mean is we're going to give iTunes the feed URL, that link that either Seriously Simple Podcasting or Libsyn created, and iTunes and Stitcher will read those feed URLs and show the contents of them in their, in their search engines. Okay, so the first thing getting started here with submitting your show to iTunes is logging into iTunes Connect. So the URL is just itunesconnect.apple.com, and you'll log in with your iTunes account or your Apple account. If you don't have one, it's free to set up. You do need to authenticate your, if you sign up for a new account, you need to authenticate it in the iTunes app, either on your, your Mac or your PC. But if you already have an existing iTunes account, just log in with your account here and you'll be taken to the iTunes Connect or the Podcast Connect page here. And if you click the little plus icon in the top left hand corner, like we have annotated here, you'll see the uh, the ability to paste in that RSS feed URL. If you paste the feed in there and then click the validate button on the right, it will say either your feed is valid or it's not. In this case, we've kind of artificially created uh, an error message just so you know what they look like. And here you see a little bit of the contents of the feed. So you see uh, on the left, you see the image, my journey as a podcaster. On the right, the description, that's kind of the metadata about the show. But you see that it gives you the error message, no episodes exist in your feed. And this brings up an important point, is that for a podcast feed or any kind of RSS feed to be considered valid, it has to have a, an actual episode published in it. So you can't submit an empty feed to iTunes. It won't, it won't take it. So in this case, we've created a feed, but it doesn't have any episodes published yet. So once we publish our episode, then... We get the green light from iTunes, and it says your status is prepared for submission, and we can go ahead and click the blue submit button over here on the right now that our feed is properly validated, and it'll submit to iTunes. You can see down here it has the details about uh, the the title or the author of the of the show, the category that it's in, the primary category, the language, uh, whether it's explicit or not. There in the middle, a link to the website and details about each of the episodes that you've published already for your feed to be considered valid. One thing to mention here in terms of timing, if you're preparing to launch your show, and we'll get a lot more into launch planning in future modules, but if you're preparing to launch your show on a specific date, know that as of right now, uh, kind of in the early to middle part of 2017, iTunes is taking about a full business day to manually approve new podcasts that are submitted. So when you submit your podcast to Podcast Connect here, you'll get a confirmation email almost instantly saying, hey, your show has been submitted, it's being reviewed, you'll get another email when it's approved. Uh, again, that second email is about a day later, and you'll get an email from Apple saying, hey, your show has been approved, here is the URL where you can find your show's listing within iTunes. That's a really important URL, and you're going to want to go back to either Libsyn or Seriously Simple Podcasting and paste that in so that you can direct your, your visitors to those sites uh, to your podcast page in iTunes so that they can leave a rating and review and subscribe to your show. So it's really important. Um, but, but that's the process. As you're, as you're looking at submitting your show ahead of launch of your podcast, just think about you want to do it at least a day ahead of time. Sometimes it takes two days, especially if it's around a weekend. Um, so, so that's submitting your podcast feed to iTunes. And if you have any questions, just leave us a comment in below in this post.